Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Armello! And when last we left off, Alicia had managed to become the ruler of Armello, building a bigger, brighter, and more fortified future. But there are still three more heroes to be, and in the previous, uh, groups of four of heroes, I went in the order of Clan Rabbit, then Bear, then Wolf, then Rat. So, the next one we'll be picking is Gore. Gore is, uh, stat-wise, only a little different to Sana, seeing that, um, Sana has, a uh, minus one fight, but plus one spirit over Gore. This means that Gore is slightly better suited to general combat, but slightly less suited to general spellcasting. Gore sacrifices the Priestess ability, which means that he's far less, um, able to deal with Banes and corrupted characters directly in combat, but the Conduit, um, ability has its own effects. In forest, spells cost one magic less per current and adjacent forest, and Gore can cast to any forest. Firstly, this means that in any forest, Gore's spells cost minus one magic. This can go to a minimum of zero. Also, this means that any person that's in a forest is at risk of being attacked by Gore, because if Gore finds a position with, say, four or five forests in it, Gore can become a stationary spell platform, flinging devastating effects at opponents for zero magic. This has uh, various advantages, in that uh, Gore could also use this to uh, buff with uh, buff magic, but it does have disadvantages. Wily opponents could place perils in the way of Gore, and with only three wits, Gore is not best placed to deal with them. Also, Gore is vulnerable in transit if he doesn't have any buff spells prepared, so Gore can quite easily be taken care of with his three fight if you're a martially inclined hero like, say, like, say, Thane here. Thane could probably quite easily deal with Gore in combat if Gore doesn't have any buffs. That said, we're going to be Gore, so let's see who we're against. We're against uh, Sana, Brun, and Thane! So, we need to pick a ring to uh, deal with our combat situations. We could pick rings like the Quartz one to deal with Rot, or the Amethyst one to deal with Magic, or the new one, the Aquamarine, which in battles and perils, plus one moon while you have zero Rot. We're going to pick the Jade one. Plus three magic at dawn if in a forest. Because hey, if we're going to be casting spells, we might as well go all in on the spell casting, eh? As for what um, of the amulets we're going to pick, there are a few options available to us. I'm actually inclined to pick the Think amulet so that we have plus one wit. This makes us a little bit more of an all-rounder kind of hero. Also, it means that we can have more cards. More cards mean more spells, and more spells means more devastation. So without further ado, let's see how well we do. We're against a lot of spellcasters this time round, so we may be outclassed, but that remains to be seen. Let's just keep away from Brun and Thane, shall we? Let's go! Once more, we must rescue the kingdom from the king, for the king has kind of got a case of the dying from the rot. For indeed, once more, heroes are needed in our mellow. About four of them should probably do the trick. Let's see how well we do, shall we? Good morning, sire. We have your breakfast, eggs, toast, and a healthy side of deadly rot. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a haste spell. That's going to be useful. Also, the Helm of Heroes with a magic challenge? Yes, please! I don't even need to think about the other ones, that's a brilliant choice. Right, what do we have here? We have no forests along the way, we also have a peril there. We're better off going this way, ending our turn in a swamp, and then going that way. It's not desirable, but it's better than, uh, better than going through that, uh, dungeon and then into that peril. So we're going to put haste on ourselves. This will most certainly help. What else could we do? Not a lot. We could equip the, uh, could equip the Snake Venom. Hmm, it's only until the end of our next turn, though, so it's not really good to do. We could play that to a settlement. Are there any settlements in the way? We could put it there. We cannot play it from the, uh, clan grounds, though, so let's move. There we go. We definitely want to put it there and make that route just that little bit less, um, viable. 
We're probably going to regret doing that. Let's go through here. There we go. And into here. Minus one health. We can deal with that. Hello, Thane. How are you? You're probably equipping a... Oh! You just moved over to there with teleport. Not quite sure why you wanted to do that, but hey. If you want to go there, you want to go there. Hello, Sana. It's been a while since, uh... We've seen you do anything amazing, and by a while, probably the last time we saw you. Because you can do some amazing things with that priestess ability. Right, you took a settlement. Nothing too extraordinary here. What do we have equipment-wise? Thane has nothing, Sana has a battle axe, and Brun has nothing. Brun needs nothing, however, for those spells are nasty. And now it is night. The rot grows on the king, and he grows weaker. What do we have here? Ooh, is that worth a diversion back? I think it is. To go get one spirit stone, that is worth a diversion. That uh, Bane is going to be heading straight towards that settlement, I believe. On the other hand, do we really want to risk um, encountering the Bane? But I do think it's worth going back for that um, spirit stone. If only so that somebody else doesn't get it. Let's see, I think we need a spell, and I think we need an item. That's not a bad item, actually. Right now, I think we need to cast this on ourselves. And we'll hold on to the other one for now. I definitely think we need this spirit stone, though. Not bad. One down, three to go. And we regain some health, which we then lose, and I think we should end our turn in a forest here. There we go. Now he is partially covered in wood, and he gains a one cost reduction to all of his spells. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's end our turn, however. There's not much more we can do here. We could move to there, but I'd rather stay here and be more defended. Plus it means that we can uh, use our spells better. Also, we'll get plus three magic for ending our uh, turn in a forest. There we go. What are you doing? Divination. Well, we can't see what you're doing, so let's just look at everything else, shall we? There's a guard there. Any other guards around here? There's a guard there who might be heading this way come, uh, not uh, in the morning uh, coming, but the one afterwards when the uh, Bane moves. Also, that did not work. That was a trap laid by Brun. And that is the end of your turn. As usual... Ow! Okay, as usual, you're dying. Nothing new there, eh? Thane always tends to die. Son has completed a quest. And I think it's Brun's turn now. It's going to be a bit difficult for Brun to gain access to um, this area in general, unless Brun goes this way. Yep, Brun's going into a peril here. A nasty, not a particularly nasty peril, actually, now you think about it. He does have the Watch Amulet, which means that uh, guaranteed success on the first... Uh, one of the actual um, symbols. Unfortunately, not very many wits right now. I'd like you not to move into the... Ah, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Morning has arrived, and the king, of course, is not looking very well. There we go. The king creeps closer to death, and it's Thane's turn. Cursed lands across all normal perils. Ooh. So all perils are now that much more difficult. I think uh, everyone was lucky that they encountered the perils they did when they did. It's now the guard's turn. Excellent, protect that settlement. You're going to move over there, which doesn't bother me. You're going to move over there, which also doesn't bother me. And you're going to patrol. We want a... I do believe we want a spell. That is a nice spell. In fact, we're going to cast that right now, because plus two spirit is always nice. We'll use that now. Let's see, one, two, three, we'll regain our health and we'll get to that quest objective. Excellent. And there goes all of the, um, the wood off us. There we go. One health, one quest. The wild pool sits, its calm water glistening. To be judged, one must simply reach inside. Doubt rushes through you. Is it worth the risk? For minus two magic, and the fact that we now have a 60% chance to succeed thanks to that spell, the worst thing that happens is we lose the magic and then we just regain it at uh, nightfall. Let's go. 40% chance we'll fail. And 
Excellent! Warmth. Blissful warm. The pool soothes your body. You, Your hand closes around something. Not you hand, which is written there. Your hand closes around something. You draw it out. A treasure! The Helm of Heroes! Excellent! A wonderful, wonderful item. I don't know why I moved up there. But it's not a bad place to go. I suppose, if anything, it probably gets us closer to our quest, and we, uh... I would have preferred to have got that settlement, but hey. But hey. Let's see what our next quest is, shall we? Ooh, the Lionheart breastplate is really good. We're going for it. And it's up there, so actually going uh, this way was a good idea. Do not attack us. Oh, that's not good. That's kind of bad. Now we're going to see the minor problem with Gore, which is the fact that we really are not prepared for this fight whatsoever. We're going to burn this for that, and we could burn this for a wild dice. Yes, we shall. We are really not that suited to this combat. Oh, this is going to end badly. Unless, unless we get a... There we go! Excellent! Through just wildly defending and desperately fighting, we drove Thane away. Excellent. Well, I think we were lucky there more than anything. But that is a sign of uh, the weakness of Gore. The fact that we uh, aren't that great when unprepared. But 5 wit pretty much means we're going to get all the spells we ever need. Also, 7... Oh! There goes the combat with a Bane. Let's see how well you do. Well, you do have Feral equipped, which is... You have a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice, Brun. I get the feeling that this, uh... This Bane's in trouble, even with the, uh, mountain... Oh, this Bane is in serious trouble. Oh, serious trouble. I'm so very sorry, Mr. Bane. You are so very dead. You have encountered Brun. And when Brun is prepared for combat, this never ends well. Kapow! And you die. Thud. Why did you even want to go there? A quest? I... Looks like just for the prestige. And now it is night. The king feels no better, as expected. Another spirit stone. It's a little out of our way. Oh, that's not good. You're going to go into that mountain, aren't you? Yes, you are. I think it's time to beat a hasty retreat. First, we need to have a item. That's not bad. And a spell? That's not bad. And another spell? And I think another spell. Very, very good. Right, where do we want to go? One, two, three is pretty good here. First, we're going to move over here and get minus two spell casting uh, cost. So that now costs one and zero and zero. I think we want to make some of these perils a little more perilous. Let's see, do we have any more perils? We have one there. Can we actually uh, cast that to there? All right, now that peril is just absolutely deadly. We do not want to do anything there. No movement to or from Tile until dawn. Hmm. I think we want to, uh... We could put that there, we could put that there. I think we're going to put this there. Actually, no, we could put it behind us. That seems like a good idea. So what we want to do is we want to cast this here, move up to here, and then cast this behind us, like that, and then move to here. Much better. I don't think Thane's going to be following us that way anytime soon, is he? No, indeed. Or maybe he'll try anyway. Fortunately, if he uh, doesn't succeed in this, he won't be able to catch us anyway. Which is nice. At least I hope he won't be able to catch us. Please don't catch us. Ah, excellent. Won't be able to catch up to us. Even with that plus one health, we really need to run away from Thane. Thane seems to be on the warpath when it comes to gore. Thane has the right idea, keeping us constantly on the move. And 
Sana is currently in a forest, which is good for us if we want to... Okay, you've captured a settlement. That's plus one prestige. And there's Bark Skin. Are you... Well, you can't go after that, uh, Bane. Unless you have the ability to bypass the movement penalty for... Okay, you're going there. This is a welcoming party peril. There is a moderate chance you can succeed this. You just need, uh, one sword dice. Still a chance. Unfortunately not. Occupied Mountain, turn ends immediately. There we go. The king is still not that well, and we most certainly are not winning the prestige victory here. There we go, the hero with the lowest prestige gets a treasure. That might be us. Yep. Do I really want that? I don't know if I want that. It's a treasure, certainly, but, uh... Not quite the one I was hoping for. Also, it means we can pick one less card. Still, that's a nice card. And that's also a nice card. We don't have any forests that we can cast it in uh, along the way, but we'll gladly cast this. And then I suppose we'll make a peril even more perilous. How about this one? There we go. We want to go one, two, and then three. There we are. Let's see if we get something good. Not a Bane, please. Magic's not too bad. You find the scholar deep in the labyrinthine catacombs, studying ancient glyphs. He asks you for your input as a member of the Bear Clan. Let's decipher the ancient markings. We'll get plus one rot if we fail. Ooh, we'll get plus one rot if we fail. Let's take the risk, shall we? Let's see what we can do. 50-50? Excellent! With your wits about you, the insidious riddle proves no issue, and its secrets are soon revealed, allowing you to claim your prize within. The Lionheart Breastplate. We never retreat from combat. Gore is turning out to be quite the warrior. Let's go over here, shall we? And see what we can do. Let's end our turn. What quests are available to us? A uh, mirror cape. Copy the effect of an item, the Spirit Stone. We might go for a Spirit Stone here. More magic is always nice. Let's go for a Spirit Stone, shall we? We need to go over there. Meanwhile, you're suffering from a... Oh, wow! That was the one I made really difficult, wasn't it? I'm so sorry, Thane. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. You may be questing, and you may be the prestige leader. However, you're now poisoned. That's really not good for you. That's really bad. But it's alright. I'm sure you won't die horribly. Actually, I really sort of want you to die horribly. Also, along the way here, we could, uh, we could potentially get a, uh, a spirit stone. Which is nice, because we're going for another one anyway. Suddenly, Brun has made Sana a wanted person. That's not good for Sana, considering there are guards all around her. Also, you're going to go to that settlement, aren't you? Yes, you are. Plus one prestige. We're really not going for the prestige win right now, are we? That might be the problem. We're not going for a prestige victory. There is a peril. And there is a Bane moving towards a target. And there is another Bane who's going to attack that guard. Yup, that guard is in some serious trouble. But if the guard's lucky, the guard will move to a mountain range there. No? Maybe. Let's find out, shall we? Good luck, guard. You're going to need it. We haven't seen many of the poison, dice, or deflect mechanics yet. Not in this match, anyway. That's mainly because uh, Gore is not uh, geared towards uh, using them. Also, that is a definite loss for the guard. Minus four compared to minus two. Not good. You're going to be trying again regardless. Hmm, let's see, what cards do we want? We want a lot of magic cards. That's a good one to, to uh, get, most certainly. And that's quite nice as well. And maybe a an item? We could use an item. That's quite a nice item, actually. So this is a, um, the challenge we're going to be doing down here is a magic challenge, but still, having lots of wits is a good thing, as it allows us to draw a lot of cards. 
but that's all for next time. For when we come back, folks, Gore will try and get that Spirit Stone, and then move along to go and get more Spirit Stones, and there will be a lot of Spirit Stones. Looks like we're going for another Spirit Stone victory. Well, we might be anyway. And that will involve dealing with a lot of quests and staying on the move. That weapon is tempting, though. It is very tempting. If I could find a way to permanently get rid of the rot, it was a tempting, tempting blade. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.